Proper sampling procedure helps guarantee that your samples aren't contaminated by previous samples or that you have um, bad results from uh, sediment entering your water sample. So a scoop like this with a three or six foot handle helps you collect the water sample without getting your feet wet or stepping in the mud. In order to use the scoop, reach into the stream, being careful not to disturb the bottom layer of sediment, and scoop water. Fill the cup about half full, swish it around, and dump it out on the stream bank, not back in the stream. Do this about three times, and that helps make sure that you're not cross-contaminating your samples from one area to the next. And then do the same thing with the sample container that you're using. Just rinse it out and dump the excess water in the bank, on the bank. It turns out it doesn't really matter too much from which part of the stream you're collecting your sample. Uh, the, your results won't vary too much from, say, close to the bank versus out in the middle of the stream. Simply close your container, keep it out of direct sunlight and fairly cool, and run your chemical analysis as quickly as possible.